guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be giving you a tutorial on how to create this easy, simple, everyday makeup look. Before we get into the video, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, which will be linked down below, and subscribe to my channel to see all my future videos. Now, if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. First, I'm going to start off with my brows, and since this is a more natural look, I don't want super sharp, defined brows. I am going to be using the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette in the shade Deep Brown. First, I will be brushing up my hair with a spoolie. Then I'm going to use a flat angled brush by BH Cosmetics. This is a 107 brush and I'm going to pack on a little bit of that wax and brush it very lightly all over my eyebrow. This is going to make sure that the powder stays in place and actually glues to your eyebrow hairs. Now I'm just going to take that powder and start fluffing it through my eyebrow hairs very lightly because I don't want a sharp defined brow and when I get to the beginning of my brow I'm just going to flick upward to create hair like strokes now as you can see the brows do look a little bit messy so I am going to clean them up with a flat definer brush and my NYX HD concealer. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand, coat that flat brush on both sides, very tiny amount on the brush, and I'm just going to clean under the brow so that I can get rid of any excess product that got outside of my brow shape, and do the same thing on top. I don't have to be super precise because, I, as I said, I don't want a very defined brow. To prime my face today, I will be using the Ordinary's High Adherence Silicone Primer. And this is just a blurring and smoothing primer. It looks like this. I'm just going to take a little bit on my fingers and press it all over my skin. This is just going to blur my pores and give me a smoother canvas to work on. This doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all and it really gives your face a blurred, healthy look. Next up, I will be applying my foundation. For this look, you can choose the amount of coverage you desire. I like full coverage, so even though it's an everyday, more natural makeup, I am going to be using a full coverage foundation and that will be the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I'm going to pump some on the back of my hand and for this look I will be adding some of the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid and this is in the shade Light. This is going to add a more healthy dewy look to the foundation because this is a very matte foundation. So I'm just going to add a drop then I'm just going to mix it and I will be painting it on my face using my fingers. Then I'll go in with a blender and blend it out. To blend my foundation, I'll be using the Echo Tools makeup sponge. Using the bottom part of the sponge, I'm just going to blend that into my skin. As you can see, you can already tell I have an illuminator mixed in with the foundation because it doesn't look as matte as it would look on its own. To conceal my under eye today, I will be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm just going to paint it on my face in triangular shape to highlight and conceal my under eye. I'm also going to add it on my T-zone to brighten up my skin a little bit. And I'll be blending it with my makeup sponge once again. I'm also going to be adding that concealer to my eyelid because I am going to be using it as today's primer. To make sure none of my makeup creases, I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I'm going to pick that powder on my makeup sponge, and before I press the powder in, I'm going to go in with the little end of my sponge and blend out any possible creasing that might have happened both on my eyelid and my under eye and now I'm just going to set it with my powder. To 
To set the rest of my face, I'll be using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder, and this is in the shape of Translucent. And I'm just going to use my Morphe E2 brush to pick some of that powder and press it on my skin, also on my neck, to make sure that makeup lasts the whole day. With that same brush and whatever's left of that powder, I'm just going to lightly just dust off whatever baking I have on. Now I am going to bronze up my skin and I will be using the BH Cosmetics brush. This is an angled fluffy brush and the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. I will be warming up my skin using this shade right here. I'm also going to bronze up a little bit on my neck. And when you're blending this bronzer on your forehead, always remember to blend upward into your hairline. Just make sure you get every little single space. And now to contour, I will be using the BH Cosmetics from that same brush set. This is a more fluffy, tapered brush. And I'm going to be using this shade from the same NYX palette. This is a cooler toned shade so that it really adds that shadow. And once again, just fluffing that brush very lightly and making sure I blend that contour with the bronzer. And with that same powder and that same brush, I'm just going to hit the bottom of my lip to make it look more plump. With that same powder and my makeup sponge, I'm going to pick up on the back of the sponge. Using the flat edge, I'm just going to sharpen up my contour. While that sits on my skin, I'm going to be blushing up my face using this BH Cosmetics Flora Blush. And this is in the shade Caribbean Coral. And this BH Cosmetics Stippling Brush. What I really, really enjoy of stippling brushes is that it gives you a more airbrush finish to the blush because it is not so densely packed as you can see. I really, really like these blushes. I'll be highlighting my face and I'll be using the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed and this is in the shade Opal. And I am going to be using today a Morphe 310 brush. I'm just going to pick some of that highlighter, tap off the excess. Now that I finished my face makeup, I'm going to start off with my eyes and I'll be using the tiny version of the Smashbox Cosmetics Full Exposure Palette. This is a very neutral palette as you can see. It has all your basic shades. You have a gray, which is more cool toned, a cream shade to set your whole lid, a peachy shade as a transition, and a deep brown. And even though this palette does come in a full size, I really like the mini one because it's really easy for you to take on the go. To start off my eye look, I will be using a fluffy blending brush and this is the BH Cosmetics 101 brush and this peachy shade right here as a transition shade. I'm just going to fluff that color all over my crease and as you can see this is a very very light shade that almost matches my skin tone which is what I want for this particular look. I'll be taking this brown shade and the Kylie Cosmetics Royal Peach Palette brush, which is just a tapered fluffy brush, and I'm just going to deepen up my crease, but not too much. Then I'll be taking this shimmer shade right here and a flat shader brush. This is the BH Cosmetics 103 brush. I'm just going to pick some of that on the brush and press it on my eyelid. Before I continue with my lower lash line, I'm going to clean off my bake with my Morphe E2 brush. With that same Kylie brush and that deep brown again, I'm just going to take a tiny bit on the brush and brush it across my lower lash line. That's something too intense, just a very light wash of color. To finish off with the shadow on the eyes, I'm going to take this lighter shade right here to highlight my inner corner and highlight my brow bone. And I'm doing this with a Morphe Y22 brush. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and add a little volume and length with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. 
To finish off my eye look, I'll be adding the NYX Wonder Pencil to my waterline. And what this is going to do is brighten up my eye instead of just going in with a black liner that will make it seem smaller. You could obviously do that if that's what you like, but I do want my eyes to pop a little more on this look. Before adding lipstick, I will be setting my face using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and my makeup sponge. I'm just going to wet the makeup sponge with that setting spray and press it on my skin. This is really going to melt those powders into your skin, make your makeup look even better, dewier, and make your makeup last longer. I forgot to set my eyebrows, so I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara, and this is in the shade Deep Brown. This is going to fluff my eyebrows a little more, and give them more color, and make them stay in place. Now I can add lipstick and I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick and this is in the shade Pure Hollywood. This is a very nude pink. You could obviously change it up, use a red, use a brown, whatever color you like, but I am going to go with this shade. I could leave this as a matte lipstick, but I'm feeling the glossy lip today, so I'm going to use the Marc Jacob Lip Gloss. This really doesn't have a name on it, so I'm just going to write the name somewhere around the screen. And this is a pinky gloss. It smells so good. It smells like fresh mint. Well, that is it for today's look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, you can always make it your own by either adding a bolder lip, darker eyeshadow, false lashes, or whatever it is that you like. If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see all my future videos. Bye!